Hey everyone, so today I'm doing my makeup collection for you and I've put it off for a while just because I wanted to get the setup to a way that I really liked it in a way that I could kind of share some cool storage tips with you and I finally decided that I'm ready to show it so I'm going to and real quickly as a disclaimer um, I just have to say this just because it is a makeup collection video I know that I have a lot of makeup and I do have a lot but I'm pretty content with all the makeup that I have and I don't feel like I need any more and I've been collecting for about two to three years now and what I mean by that is basically anytime that I had an option to get a gift like for a birthday or something I would always ask for makeup related items and it's just something that I love and I love having different types of items and stuff so I don't know I hope that kind of makes sense and I'm not trying to brag or show off but this has been really requested and I really hope you guys enjoy it and the next thing is also is I wanted to do a quick giveaway. So I have two of the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencils, and this is the 15 anniversary packs, and I have two of them, and I bought these myself, and I'm giving them away to two different people. The first way to win is you have to send me a video response of your makeup storage collection and post it as a response to this video down below, and then I will choose the person that I think has like the most unique storage methods. And the second way you can enter if you don't want to make a video or you can't make a video is in the comment section just post um, what your favorite makeup item is. Just give me the name of it and tell me why you like it. Um, don't write enter me though because that will get marked as spam. Just write your favorite makeup item. And then I'm going to end this on March 13th just because I'm going out of town and I want to be able to get the stuff out before I leave. So um, I hope you guys enjoy and enter the contest if you want to and I'll see you guys soon. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start over here, and this is where I film a lot of the times, and I sit right there. Um, this is just my vanity. I don't actually keep any makeup in there, but I do sit there and I do my makeup. And then I'm going to start with the nail polish rack. And I'll list all of the colors of the nail polishes in order that you see them below, but I'm not going to go ahead and say them all out loud right now, because that would just take a really long time. But, um, so I'll list them starting from this side and I'll just go down in the order that they are. But these are all OPI and I posted a photo of this on my fan page and a lot of people were wondering how much OPI costs where I live. And for me and the stores that I get it from, it's normally around 6 to $8, but people were saying in their other countries that it can be up to $20. So I will definitely do an OPI giveaway if you guys would like for those of you who live in other countries and it's super expensive to buy OPI but those are just my OPIs and as you can tell I really like the pinky colors and these colors are actually different but for some reason on the camera they're kind of showing up really similar but I just have them kind of in color order and then down here these are some NYX glitter cream palettes I just think they look really pretty on here and then these are just some more NYX lip glosses and then more NYX palettes, and I bought all this, I'm not being sponsored, but I just like the NYX stuff because I think it's like really bright and pretty. And then down here, these are the Ulta brand polishes, and I really love these because they're um, a little bit cheaper. And at Ulta, they always do things where they do sets, and they do like, you know, buy one, get one free, and just stuff like that. So there are all my Ulta polishes. And then I have a magazine rack down here. And then I did this cutout on my wall, and I like to film against here just because it's colorful and bright. And, yeah. Okay. And then if we come over here, um, this is actually going to be in my other video. I'm going to do a video on my jewelry collection and, like, how I organize my jewelry. But this is this. <laughs> and, you know, I put necklaces on there. And I'll go through all of this in the jewelry video, which will be coming soon. And then you come over here past the racks. Okay, and this is where I actually keep my makeup. It is this, like, antique wardrobe, I guess is what you would call it. And this has actually been in my life for a very long time. It used to be in my room when I was a baby, and I had a hand-painted crib that matched it. But my grandfather actually hand-painted all of it, so it just looks like this. And I don't know, I think it's really pretty, and it's just kind of really special to me. And it's big, so it holds all the makeup, and it looks, I don't know, like a piece of furniture when it's closed. And now this is an overview of everything when the wardrobe is open. And this is what the storage looks like. So I'm going to start over here. And a cute, uh, this is so cute. A subscriber actually sent this to me. Um, she said, for good luck when I go to New York this weekend. And I have Pomeranian dogs. And this is a little luggage tag. So I just thought that was really cute. But then I got this. 
And my mom actually got this for me. Oh, that's like flipped up. My mom actually got this organizer for me, and I really like taking this when I travel. But for now, I just keep kind of things that I use every day. I just have some bobby pins, hair brushes, and I kind of just like those clips for like show in here because they're pretty and they all sparkly. But then down here, I keep makeup that I wear every single day just so it's easily um, accessible. So I have some Makeup Forever bronzer. This is Makeup Forever HD foundation. Um, these are just two quads that I really like. This one is a Maybelline quad. And then this is a matte quad that I made. And then down here I have some Tarte cheek stains, which I really like and I've really been getting into lately. And then, sorry, camera. Some L'Oreal Hip Jelly Balms and just a few more lip products down there. And then a curling iron. And then I guess I'll start over here. So first I have brushes. And this is from the container store. It's just like a little metal thing but it actually has magnets on it so you could put it onto something metal and then this is actually where I keep all of my lipsticks and again I got this at the container store these little um if I can show you these are like little cubes and they actually move and you stick the lipsticks down in them and then I just put it inside one of these plastic bins so yeah I'm probably not going to go through every single lipstick but I'll just show you them, I guess. Um, all these black ones back here are MAC. And then right here I have three Chanel. These are two or three YSL. And then this one is actually from Too Faced, um, a Bobbi Brown, and then I have some drugstore lipsticks here. Um, I have a lot of Revlon lipsticks in Maybelline just because those are kind of like my favorite lipsticks from the drugstore. And then just a few more MAC. And then over here just a few more that wouldn't fit. For some reason, some of the different Chanel lipsticks don't fit in here. So these ones ended up fitting, but this one didn't. It was like too wide of packaging. So that's just over here. Um, this is another Maybelline lipstick that didn't fit down here. And this is a YSL one that has really bulky packaging, so it didn't fit. So that's that, and that's how I keep my lipsticks. I really like it, and it just looks nice, and I like having them all like that instead of in a bin because you can easily pull them out. And then down here, I don't keep anything in these drawers, but down here I just have makeup remover and then this, um, a bunch of Q-tips and then some extra lip glosses and stuff. And yeah, so that's in there. And now over here, these plastic bins, or they're actually kind of like acrylic, and I got these from the container store as well. And then the first one we'll do is, let's see what this is. Okay, so this is like blush um, and highlights. So I have some MAC MSFs right here. Um, this is a MAC Beauty Powder, which is not very pigmented at all. Um, this is a MAC Highlighter. Um, what is this called? Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush. Um, this was a MAC blush from a limited edition collection, so it has like cool packaging. Smashbox Oglo MAC Strobe Cream. Um, a highlighter and bronze or contour duo from the D Square collection, Georgia by Benefit, and um, two NARS multiples, and one is in Luxor and Orgasm. One is like more of a blush color, and the other is more of a highlight color. Okay, and the next drawer has a ton of stuff in it. Um, I have a bunch of different colored eyeliners, and then over here, starting off on the side, these are glitter liners from Sephora. These are Milani liquid liners, which are really pretty and really pigmented. And then some few MAC like glitter liners. Um, two MAC shade sticks, just some miscellaneous um, different liners and stuff. And then I have just a bunch of like random pencil liners. I kind of need to organize these better, but just a bunch of different brands, a bunch of drugstore, some Urban Decay, some MAC. And then over here are eyeliners, or not eyeliners, mascaras. This is YSL, but it's kind of like special. I don't, I try to not use it that often because it's really expensive. Um, but these are two CoverGirl um, Lash Blasts that I haven't opened. I have one of these for um, vacations because it's waterproof. This is a primer for your lashes. This is um, just like a night conditioning treatment for lashes. And then two MAC lashes, one that's waterproof and one that's plush lash. And then back here... I just have some more kind of like gel liners, um, shadow insurance, shadow works from Coastal Scents, um, an Almay liquid liner, 
This is Max Prep and or not Prep and Prime. Yeah, Prep and Prime Eye, which is like an eye base from Mac. I don't really like it though. So that's that drawer. Now in this drawer, these are all pigments. Um, these are the four Mac pigments that I have. I have one in Circa Plum, which I'm pretty sure is discontinued. Um, Naked. What is this? Um, Mutiny. And. Lovely Lily, which I think is also discontinued. And I also have Vanilla, but it's, I don't know where it is right now. And these are a bunch of um, pigment samples, and I'll put where I get these from um, in the below bar. But I just have Quick Frost, Pink Pearl, Ultramarine, Deep Blue Green, Rush Metal, Green Space, Chocolate Brown, Fairy Light, Naked, and Coco Motion. And those are great because you can kind of try out the pigments. And they even let you do pro pigments, which I'm obviously not, like, I don't have a pro card obviously at Mac, so I can't get pro pigments, but I can get like the mini ones. And then these are just Urban Decay like glitters, kind of, so, yep. And then these are two little mini pigments. Okay, so that's that drawer. Then up here is foundation and stuff. Um, I have, this is a Makeup Forever foundation that's a shade darker that I wear in the summer. This is a Neutrogena Healthy Skin Mineral Power from Maybelline. Laura Mercier Tenet Moisturizer. Um, this is Rimmel Say Matte Foundation. Then I have some primers. We have Max Matte Primer Prep and Prime, um, a Mineral Power Concealer. This is like Benefits, like mini, some kind of gorgeous. Um, Guerlain Bronzer, Hula Bronzer, Chanel um, Cream Bronzer, and a L'Oreal True Match Makeup. So that's that. And in here is lip glosses. I have, um, these are all NARS lip glosses back here, and then these, um, L'Oreal Infallible, which I really, really like. Bare Minerals, um, Victoria's Secret, two Chanel, some Tarte. I really like Dior lip glosses, too. They're expensive, but they're really, really nice. And then these are just some MAC lip glasses down here, so. Yep, sure. Cream products. Um, I have some MAC paint pots, one in Indian Wood, Rubenesque, and Bear Study. Um, these are from, I think, Coastal Scents, and they, I think they're supposed to be gel liners, but I like them in here as bases. Purple, Royal Plum, Turquoise, Silk White, and these are cream shadows from Benefit, and Busy Signal, Skinny Jeans, and Birthday Suit. And, oh, this is from Buxom, and it's one of their cream shadows in the color Pug. It's really pretty. Um, more cream shadows, and then these are just like a bunch of like loose, um, loose like pigments that I probably should put in the other drawer. And then two Bobbi Brown metallic cream shadows, and just, you know, cream products. And then this one I have palettes. I have, um, three MAC palettes, only two are filled. And then this is a Coastal Scents 88 Shimmer palette. And then a bunch of lashes. I keep them in here for like... I mostly use lashes for like Halloween tutorials and stuff and more fancy tutorials. So a bunch of lashes, um, some NYX ones, those are from Coastal Scents, some mod lashes. I love the Andrea mod lashes. They're just really good quality. And then over here are a bunch of dazzle glasses. When I first started collecting makeup, I actually kind of like went crazy and just bought a ton of dazzle glasses, which I don't use them all that often, but I do use this one quite a lot. You can see there's like nothing left. And this is in the color Local Color, which I believe was a limited edition. But those are my Dazzle glasses. I'm not going to go through each one of them, but that's that. And then this is a Laura Geller Lip Scrub. And this is a miscellaneous drawer. Most of the stuff I'm giving to my sister, and I just haven't had time to, like, um, go through all of it. But that's that drawer. And then we come down here, and I have these bigger acrylic boxes and these are actually again from the container store and these are a size bigger so you can see the size difference these are the large and then these are the smaller ones but in here I have a bunch of self tanners and I just try out a ton of them because I don't know I'm trying to find like the perfect one I really do like this L'Oreal Sabrom's um, tinted gel um, this one is from Too Faced it smells like really weird it smells like really coconutty um, this is an airbrush fake bake this was Hawaiian Tropic. It smells really bad. Um, and then back here, this is Banana Boat, like a spray one. And this is a Dior, like, spray bronzer. So, self-tanner. 
And then down here is a bunch of face stuff. I have Clinique moisturizer, some clear cell deep cleaning pads, some little like mini peels. Whoa, like um, that's actually a conditioner, but some mini peels like stuff, ultra cleanser. Um, and then back here are some MAC Volcanic Ash Masks. That's a mouthful. I really like those. Um, clean and Clear, Scrub, some sunscreen, Biore Revitalize 4-in-1 Cell Foaming Cleanser. Sorry, I couldn't read it. And these are just a bunch of Scandinavia um, makeup sprays, makeup setting sprays. And then down here, oop, this drawer always gets stuck, but um, I have a bunch of hair stuff and I don't want to pull the drawer out too much because it gets like... But um, this is like a John Frieda hair glaze, which is really nice. Um, this is like a deep conditioning mask from Phyto. Um, this is like a marine salt spray from Fakai, or Frederick Fakai. Um, volumizing detangler, John Frieda frizzies, some brushes, invisible dry shampoo, Wonder Waves, Wave Enhancer, and she Iron Guard. So hair drawer and then over here I have a bunch of just like hair accessories um, that are unopened but um, these are a bunch of just bobby pins and these like big wrap headbands I use when I'm doing my makeup and some multicolored hair ties and down here a bunch of cotton balls and then I have this um, divider that you can also get at the container store and I want to put something else back here but I just don't know what to do with that yet but and then these are like the big clips that you use when you um, put hot rollers in your hair and I like to keep them all together so I can find them because normally I lose them all when I just like I don't know randomly throw them and then down here is just some body lotions and stuff um, these are all from Ulta they just smell really nice and this one is an apple teeny, tangerine, banana, berry licious, and then this is green apple, and this is an antibacterial, and it's just like simply clean. Okay, so that was my full makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoy. Check the bottom bar because I'm going to spend a ton of time writing out all the names of everything, where you can get everything, and all that information will be listed below. But I hope you guys enjoy, and next I'm doing my jewelry collection, and then I'm going to move on to my closet tour. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me below. And definitely go ahead and enter the contest, so you can either send me a video response of your makeup collection, or you can just write me a comment of what your favorite makeup item is, and you'll be entered to win. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye!